Welcome to this Newswise Live Expert panel. Today we're talking about the COVID pandemic, the vaccine trials underway, and other related topics. Uh, Dr. Shaman, I'd love to uh, ask you about the, the types of patients in terms of you know, prevention or preparedness as the pandemic spreads. What types of patients should consider getting the kind of screening and prescribing report that Coriel offers and what that could then uh, give advantages to in terms of treatment if they do have the misfortune of contracting COVID? Yeah, so the CDC and John Hopkins guidance is currently, they continue to state that there's no need to discontinue a patient's medication regimen just because of a COVID-19 diagnosis. But the importance of being on the right medication with high efficacy and no side effects is more important now than ever. But I think it's really true for medications used to treat both the symptoms of COVID, um, those used in the course of uh, treating severe cases or hospitalizations, those used in clinical trials for treatment, and even those that had started prior to diagnosis. And so those include the antivirals, the antidepressants, pain management medications, anticoagulants, and even the immunomod immunomodulators. So what we know is that there's a list of indication known to increase the severity of a COVID case. So having therapeutically well-controlled chronic diseases decrease these risks. And we wanna mitigate the cardiovascular challenges that are also a potential side effects of some of the medications being used. So fighting the virus concurrently with a patient's existing conditions is enough of a challenge, right? Our goal, and, and it should be all of ours, is to improve medication management so we're not also fighting against treatment side effects and lack of efficacy. So during the pandemic, the folks that'll benefit the most uh, from the COVID precision prescribing report are those suffering from these uh, comorbidities, polypharmacy, uncontrolled or poorly controlled chronic illnesses, dealing with medication side effects. And I think I would add to that list, something we all need to think about is those receiving treatment for anxiety and depression. Um, but because these genetic tests help for the entire life of the patient, these genes don't change over time, anyone can benefit from these kind of precision prescribing reports. And, um, similarly, with the kinds of precautions, somebody who might be in a high risk population could really benefit from the type of screening that Coriel offers. How would somebody go about requesting that from their physician? Uh, so this is not a direct consumer test. You're absolutely right. This needs a prescription like other, like other tests out there. And I would say to, uh, the best thing and the quickest is to reach out to the website coriel.com, C-O-R-I-E-L-L, -L, uh, to, to learn more, to be able to order those tests from, from a physician.